Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Here with me, I have Jane Kramer. She's the founder and executive director of Enriching Lives through music, also known as the ELM program. Jane, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks so much. For so your organization started 15 years ago or seven years, seven no, about years seven ago? Seven years ago. Right. Tell me how it started and why you decided to, to start the foundation and the program. As a child, I was a part, a participant in a school that was very similar to Elm. It was completely free. It was completely integrated school of the arts in Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. And it had always inspired me to want to start something like that and to create complete access to a music program for kids who wouldn't otherwise have had that access. And this program focuses on children in the San Rafael Canal neighborhood. That's right. The Canal Tell me why you, why you decided to focus it on that neighborhood and the community. Um, the Canal neighborhood is very close to where I live. I live in Larkspur, and so five miles away from where I live, um, it, there's a community, mostly immigrant kids and families, who have very little access to really high-quality music education. So I, I saw a gap and a need, and that's what I wanted to fill. Sure. Uh, Jane, we have a clip uh, of some of the children mm -hmm. performing, so let's take a look, and we'll talk more after this. Sure. Lo más me gusta del de concierto de Valle es tocar porque la música se siente buena. Y veo que más se siente orgulloso de mí. A mí me gusta tocar el violoncello porque el violoncello es un instrumento grande, pero no es tan grande. Es el size perfecto. Um, van a estar ahí mis amigos y todo, y, pero ellos tocan también y van a, va a estar bien bonito. So that is Emerson uh, playing the cello, I believe. That's right. And there's actually a great story about yes. that. Tell me about it. Because Emerson is one of five children who was recently selected to become part of a national youth orchestra wow. in Aspen. That so on June 24th, great. Emerson and four of his other peers through a very competitive audition, we're now going to be part of this National Youth Orchestra. They go to Aspen July, June 24th, and they perform on the 28th. That is amazing. It's really tell, amazing. Tell me a little bit more about him, because we saw in that clip um, him getting ready for, for school, mm -hmm. dragging that cello. It must give him a lot of pride. Yes, it does give him a lot of pride, and he's become a, quite an excellent cellist. I started with Emerson when he was quite young in fourth grade, playing the recorder, playing the ORF instruments, mm -hmm. and singing, which is... Um, part of our pre-orchestral division. That's sort of how we prepare all of our kids to start an instrument. Mm -hmm. And then Emerson chose between the um, violin and cello, he chose the cello, and he's been studying seriously ever since. And he was recently accepted to the um, Nevada School of the Arts right. um, to continue his cello playing. And, and how, what kind of changes have you seen in him when he first entered the program until now? Um, Emerson's always been an uh, inquisitive, thoughtful um, kid. But um, he's become much more of a serious musician. He's really focused on his cello. He performs. Um, he's, he went to the, um, performed with the National um, Youth Orchestra from Carnegie Hall mm -hmm. at, at the um, Palace of Fine Arts. He's become confident. He's become outgoing. Mm -hmm. He has become closer with his parents and his family. Yeah, and um, his parents must be so proud as well to see that kind of growth. Super proud. Right. Yeah, super proud of him. And this, this program, it's, it, it's a very intense music program where you, you give them many hours per week. That's right. It's really focused on intensity and high quality. So um, many of this, most of the students study after school for about six hours, and then every Saturday we bring all of our kids together from the different programs, and they do ensemble work. They are in choruses, they're in orchestra. So we have now 20 kids playing cello, over 40 playing violin. We have a whole woodwind section. Mm -hmm. um, we have a conductor who comes up from Los Angeles, from the Los Angeles Philharmonic, right. to work with our kids. And, and because it's such an intensive music program, it's not like you can have you know, several hundred kids participate every year. How do, you, how do you select some of the students? We have feeder schools, and that enables us to have an intense after-school program. So now that we have a, our main feeder school right now is San Pedro Elementary, but we, now as our kids have graduated from elementary, we're opening up a site at the middle school, and we'll be able to open up other sites at other elementary schools also serving the Canal neighborhood. Yeah. So kids will come from different schools, but all come together to be part of orchestra on Saturday. It seems like a fantastic program, and, and we congratulate you for, for founding this organization and also just um, inspiring kids out there like Elmer. 
Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. And for more information about enriching lives through music, log on to elmprogram.org. That's elmprogram.org. We'll be back with more Bay Sunday after this break.